let's do some multi-chart trading and a warm welcome to one and all and if this is your first time here coffee obsessed scruffy trader and sitting next to me is my little guardian wonder wink do i need a guardian yeah i do actually normally when i'm left on my own i get into all sorts of mischief but it's not altogether a bad thing i'm not all always a clown sometimes i actually work and when i'm committed to the charts i am fully engrossed 100 percent would you say that's true? Very true, yeah. Very true. See, there you go. Mm -hmm. See? Not always a clown. Am I a clown all the time? No. The yeah. problem is you work 24-7. Well, I do, actually, yeah. yeah. I love my job. And I'm a great believer that if you're going to do something, be fully committed to it. And maybe that's how our marriage works, because I'm fully committed to that as well. You know, I love my life and I love my job. So, there you go. How, how nice that. Hello, nice hey. that. You're in holiday mode. I'm getting there. It takes me. I'm getting there. <laughs> and she bought me something for holiday mode, so I'm really happy. <laughs> Hold on, I'm having a moment. Hello. That was a good moment. Can't, can't wait until next week. I really can't. Well, it's not next week, actually. It's tonight. Um, When I finish this, that's it. We're going to go out for dinner and we're meeting with the Scruffy squad tomorrow before we fly out. So it's going to be a rolly time at uh, Stansted tomorrow. And then when we're going to hit Cyprus, well, we're just going to have a jolly time of things. Why not? Deserve it. But let's have a look, see what we are up to in the meantime. I was said multi charts. So what I've done is I've put in my go-to markets which is sort of gold cable and dax they're not ready yet why they are my go-to well basically it's a it's a indices driver that i i like to watch all the time which is the dax cable is the uk currency so i like to watch that as well and gold is a world driver that can give you a sentiment uh, it's kind of why i keep an eye on those I don't trade a lot of gold, but I, I, I do like to put it on my basket so I can see what's happening on a morning. And this is the full basket of where I start each day. And what I've done is it's each one of these is added in. It has its little um, sort of indicator that tells me whether to trade it or not trade it so it filters it out and it's pulled out these lot so that's what i'm going to concentrate on at this moment in time and what it's telling me is as we can see so if we go down the list we have the aussie jpy it's ready to buy so that's from nine to eight so there's a reasonable amount there to play with so let's have a look are we ready to put a trade on this as yet let me just drop this down a second um mm, wants to be back here somewhere so gonna place an order maybe around this area uh, so let me just drop that in now I'm only going to put a pound a point on. So let me just quickly do that. So that'll be there. And we'll target up here somewhere. Drop that in there. Right, what's next on the list? Uh, NZJPY. So the Kiwi. Similar situation. Right, let me have a little look. Are we ready to go with this one? Uh, again, I would like to see it back here somewhere. So we'll drop a buy on that. Quid. And again, back here. 
Put that on there. What's next on the list is Swissy GPY, which is this one. So let's have a look, see what this one has to say for itself. So it's again, it's trapped between two levels. How good are we on this? Uh, again, back here somewhere. Du, 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 du. Uh, what's next? New Zealand, US. Back to the hour. How are we doing on this? Too bad, so that won't be on this level here. Just want to quit on that. Yeah. And then finally, New Zealand can. Let's have a look, see what this has to say. Okay, New Zealand CAD. It's not as bad as it looks. Across the top of that, so. Drop that back slightly to there. Pop. Okay. Plenty of markets to work with. So what am I doing? Well, at the minute, I'm just kind of putting my sheep to the test. So what I'll do is I'll let them play out. When I've got a net positive of 200 quid, I will shut them all down that simple and why do it that way well because it doesn't matter what happens in the middle I'm looking for a monetary target rather than anything else and broken up the position so it's a pound here a pound there so it hasn't cost a great deal of money and hopefully it'll make some money so see you at the end and I'll tell you why I've done it and how I've done it Wait. Sorry to interrupt the intro, but have you ever been wounded by the markets or looked at the screens with dread? See what I did there with that clip at the beginning? Brilliant film, by the way. If so, at the end of the video, please take a moment to look in the description below. There's some links that can genuinely help you and also details of the Scruffy Squad. It's direct access to myself on a daily basis. And I teach the guys exactly what I do and hopefully guide through the choppy waters of trading. So if that sounds good. Please check it out and enjoy the video.
Okay, boys and girls, uh, I'm going to be putting the DAX into the mix. So if you bear with me, I'll just open this up, show you for why. Uh, it's come into play. Uh, it's been waiting most of the morning. Uh, it was originally on a buy, but it told me not to trade it. Oh, bugger, what have I done with that? That went, that went a bit, but up there we go. It's too early, boys and girls. I haven't had my coffee. So, it's now telling me to trade it for the 10 o'clock candle, which is now. Um, you can see it coming into the level. I'm only going to put a pound on this as well. Uh, why? Well, I don't want to over-egg my margins. And I want to keep it in check with the others. Uh, but the good thing with the DAX is it can shift. So we'll drop an order in that is there so what we'll do is we'll tidy that up and we'll continue to watch all of these together uh, just make some make a little bit of room for it on this section here i'll be starting to drop some of these sections out now that we're in full swing uh, just so that i can keep an eye on what's going on simple stuff guys simple stuff so again we'll let it play out we're going to run that we're going to run these and basically all i'm trying to do is show you that you can have a basket of stocks or products rather and trade them personally i don't advise doing what i'm doing because it's very distracting trying to look at multiple products at once um i prefer to load up and concentrate on a single product but again i like to back up what i say and stick two fingers up to those who have a go at me and it's that simple um i said the other day i'll pit my skills against anybody any day and they said that well basically i'm i'm only showing one trade at a time so it doesn't hold any water. Well, he is one, two, three, four, five, six at once. And my call on each of them is pretty much correct. Why? Because I do my own work and I know what I'm looking for. So let me run this out and I'll come back to you at the end. Okay, guys, so where we're at at this moment in time is we are net positive to the tune of 1820. Uh, we have banked 110 already. Somebody outside's having a merry time. And this, this, and this, and most of the DAX is risk free. This one's a pending order because what I'm doing is close the other orders off i'm going to let this run pick it up and away we go so happy days but i need the camera to um do a little bit of teaching and i'm not that clever to be able to record two screens at once so i'll come back to you in a couple of hours okay catch you soon well we're waiting okay boys and girls i'm back um just in time to see this kind of cash out shall we say we let's have a look see where we're up to we are 95 up oh, uh germany's just cashed out now or part of it has uh second part has just closed as well so that is superb where else we're we up to we'll just kill these off for now that one and that one so that is it uh it should all be done and dusted which it looks like we are happy days okay so what have we done 219 
Wow. How many markets? One, two, three, four, uh, five. Is that right? So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five markets all at the same time. Um, 219 quid. Give it that. So there we go. Um, it's kind of putting my sheet to the test. Um, just so that we're aware of what's going on. Bear with me just a second. Uh, I'll show you something. Just drop this down. All the way through this process, I told the guys what I was doing as I was doing it and beforehand. Um, sort of there, history, 120 to go. And throughout the morning, as you can see, 9, 9.15, 9.16, 9.24, 11 o'clock. Just ran it through so they could see what markets I was looking at when I was entering. And the sheet was telling them the direction what I was entering. I can't really be any fairer than that. Um, anyway, proof's in the pudding. If you plan and map out what you're looking at, you will find the trades that you're after and what's the moral of the story here it's actually do your homework i didn't enter any of those markets willy-nilly um, my sheet picked out a basket that i needed i fully mapped out the charts and once those charts were mapped i knew reasonable points of entry and exits and then I just had to manage each one. Now, it is hard when you're managing multiple markets, as you've just seen, which is why you saw me scale out of some, leave some runners in. And I was just building up a money pot. And every time I cash some out, it released margin. That mar released margin could then be put over to a new market and just keep the floor running. So I hope that helps. I genuinely do. Um, if you're stuck, by all means, contact me. All my contact details are below. Um, do drop your thoughts in the comments. Um, what I will say is I, I, I'm not doing this every day, and I don't condone it. Um, best advice I can give you is trade one market at a time. Um, look at multiple markets, but just trade one at a time. And then stick to your guns. Trust your trade. I don't know. Hope that makes sense. And if it does, hit that little subscribe button. Genuinely helps. And if you found value, smash the like. Be great if we can get 100 likes on this. And I'll keep on doing my best to help you. So, as always, guys, trade well. Keep your risk managed. But above all, do what you love. And the money will follow. See you all in the next one.